Keynes. No, Keynes. Oh, no. From Lewis, what, near Brighton? Yeah, have you just come up for the day? <laughs> <laughs> or what? Yeah, I've just come up for the day. You know, you can get into it. I can yeah. get into any any music he produces. It's oh. brilliant. It just goes better and better and better. But this is the last night of the European tour. Stardust. Have you seen Have you seen Baby before? You're too young to have seen him before, aren't you? So, I mean, is, have you only just sort of started to like him, or what? First, yeah, his record is having charts of work. Yeah. So, you're in, what, what other sort of music do you like? Like jazz funk. Jazz funk. Yeah, so, what, what, why do you like Bowie if you like jazz funk? You should be going to see Level 42 or something. Yeah. Different. Yeah. But I mean, is it is it still got the kind of excitement or whatever that you find that you get in jazz funk? He's not very good in the charts, but when you see him here, he's much better than what he is. Yeah. The slavish imitations of every change of style have gone, but the new Bowie fans are every bit as devoted as the old clones. Bowie seems to have passed the superstar test with flying colours, and the real clincher is his success with the older generation. Are you a fan of David Bowie? I most certainly am. Yeah. yeah? I mean, how long have you been sort of following him? Ten years. Yeah? Have you been to see him before? Yes, I've been to Wembley. I was at Hammersmith Thursday. Really? Yes. Yeah? Yes. And what did you think? What do you think of this sort of current phase that he's going through? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Did you get get, get into Bowie through your mum, or did you get, um, get involved in, with him independently? I think the whole family is a fan, really. We all yeah. really like him. You know, yeah. we've all been on different occasions. Yeah. It's really great. Do you go a lot together? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And do, yes. do you ever argue about what you think about? Him? Um. Yeah, you just keep oh, coming yeah. to see him, yeah. Oh, yeah, wherever, what, whatever. Yeah. What, what if you... I can get a ticket, I'm there. That's the new David Bowie, a superstar for all the family. But at 36, Bowie himself has a teenage son and a brand new recording contract. So what does the future hold for him? We won't really know until the next album comes out whether this... If the next record is very similar to this one, then... The new album seems to be, to me, a step sideways. Why do you describe um, it that in that way? Because I think he's not doing anything particularly new. And I... ...fashion, which is to say a superstar. Oh. 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 As David Bowie sings into the sunset, 50,000 adoring fans cheer the opening bars of every song they recognise. Even so, I can't help feeling a little bit sad that the old excitement and frontier spirit has gone from Bowie's music. But there I go, harking back to the old days like an old Ziggy clone. After all, this is Milton Keynes, and it is the 1980s, isn't it? Well... They told me that there's going to be surprises, but I think surprises, but I think even they got surprised upstairs.
kid raising his fist in the air in the middle there. See him raising his hand? He's deaf. And he's a big fan of it. Really amazing. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's wonderful. Well, I'll tell you. Thank you. <laughs> You don't, you don't, uh, sh okay, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, because I got to talk to him and you can't, if I do it. I know you're excited and, and so am I. I don't know what the hell to say here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I know for a fact that you just don't do these kind of shows. Well, I was uh, eating around the corner, about three blocks from here. <laughs> you, uh, you know, I, I, I always know... I always know David Bowie from album covers where you're sort of laid out on a something with red hair and all. This is very conservative David Bowie these days. It's dressed in a suit, yeah. so it took a long time to. Why are you speaking out so much more? I read in the paper a whole interview you did at, in Perth, and yeah. they were all quite shocked that you just came out and answered questions, you know, uh, from people. But I mean, you are the most adventurous man I have ever seen. You do the most outrageous things that other people would just say, oh, forget it, it just won't work, you yeah, know? Talk have shows you ever... and everything. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's the but first one I've ever done. This one? Yeah, I think so. I am so yeah. funny, I can't believe it, that's terrific. <laughs> uh, what do you, where, you're going to be doing concerts here? Uh, yeah, well, uh, in Melbourne tomorrow night at the uh, BFL, I think it's called. The BFL Park? Yeah. Oh, well, you can fit a few hundred people in there. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, uh, Writing's family and everything. My God, you should and get... And in Brisbane and Sydney. What's the biggest venue you've ever worked? Uh, do, can you remember? Uh, 300,000, I think, in the uh, US Festival in California. At one place, 300,000? Yeah, one night. Oh, yeah. my God. What's that like walking out to 300? They can't all hear you, can they? It was just like playing to um, uh, a sea. Yeah. Uh, the, the, they were sort of lit and... Because the, the sound took such a long time to get to the back, so the, 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 it would ripple through. The, you'd see people clapping like that there. That they'd be clapping half a beat out. A few rows of music. <laughs> so the thing like that, all the way to the back. It was great. It was terrific. Really, I was also surprised to find you're a, you're a big fan of Frank Sinatra. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure about that. That's sort you of know, been no. a... <laughs> I'm going to he's, say, he's, he's, he's good, isn't he? Of course, is that the uh, yeah, first one for years that I can remember where something has been actually banned. Now you did this film clip for the, we yes, just uh, had the uh, Duran Duran on the show last week, and yeah. we were talking to them oh, about yeah. their clips. They said their, their clips are sort of semi-porn. You have been declared total porn or something. They've just taken a clip. Of, what was it, China Girl? You've been laying around on the beach with some. There wasn't a bum or a knife in it. There was nothing pornographic. About no that. bums, no nothing. No knife. Not knives, even a nipple or anything. No guns. Yeah. Oh yeah, but nothing pornographic. All oh, right. <laughs> Well, you just went out there to do filming, or did you yeah. go out there for another look around? Or no, I went there, out there specifically to do filming. I saw uh -huh. a lot of it when I was here on the tour in 1978. Oh, but I mean, I am. I don't know what that's going to mean, but God, oh my, that's terrific. You're just coming in here like this. It's the biggest delight to be on this show. Thank you, David, very, very much. And good luck with the you know. This is the interest it's created amongst the world's press. In fact, some of the, I don't know who these people are filming for, probably the BBC or someone like that, somebody equally unspeakable. Well, we're wandering down here. Ah, oh, here's the ballroom entrance. This is where David's actually going to be. Well, the first thing that we must ask you is, um, after not having to some performance, but um, the the, uh, the whole getting the show on the road and all that, I mean, it, it gives a... Uh, Having not done it for six years, there's a, a new impetus of, of wanting to do it there, which uh, I'm really pretty geared up for doing it. You're not scared it might become, it might start getting you down? 
Um, I don't think so. I'm very happy with the band that I have for this tour. Who, who are you using in the band? I'm using Carlos Alomar, who toured with me for most of my tours since 74, 75. He's the uh, only guy who remains in the old band. Dennis Davis, is re who's now working with Stevie Wonder, um, is replaced by Tony Thompson from Chic, who was with Chic, is now with mm -hmm. me. And the lead guitarist is a guy that I'm really excited about called Stevie Ray Vaughan, mm -hmm. who uh, is, plays some of the best real blues guitar that I've heard in mm. years. The other thing is that, the, that there have been rumours that this might be the last hit tour. Would you care to stem those? Or... Um, I doubt that. I, I, I can't see that I'd be touring next year again. But uh, um, I've really got no uh, real feeling about stopping touring. I mean, if this goes as happily as I wanted to go, then uh, it would... I'd probably tour um, uh, a lot more frequently than I have to. Mm. And with the, with the record... Uh, I think that track is predominantly a dance track in terms of that it can be danced to. The others can be danced. I, the, dance is uh, so diversified now. Mm. There's so many styles of dance. Well, I shall be dancing in different styles. The other thing that they did ask you in there that I'd like to ask you is where, where your home is. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. But, I mean, as well in there, you said that you, because you travelled so much, yeah. it was almost like the world was your oyster. Yeah, it, it does seem that I, I spend much of my time in other countries other than Switzerland, but I guess that's a base. Um, but I, I have travelled extensively over the last ten years from Siberia through to uh, Australia and uh, God. Mm. Uh, I'd, I'd like, I'd, I would like to go there. It's violent, isn't it, man? Yeah, yeah. But so was Berlin when I lived there. That was Did that worry you at all? Um, I think towards the end it was something that I, I, I felt I didn't really want in, part, in my life too much. It was getting more violent. But I, I still have very fond memories of Berlin. But there's a lot of people who...